because 2 plus i is a 0, uh, we know that its complex conjugate is as well, 2 minus i. So that tells us two different factors. We have x minus 2 plus i and x minus 2 minus i as factors. Now we can go ahead and just multiply all this out together. So first I'm going to distribute the negative. So minus 2 minus i and x minus 2 plus i. And then we can distribute all of this, uh, this here. So we've got x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, and x times i is ix, and then uh, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, negative 2 times i is negative 2i, and then negative i times x is negative ix, negative i times negative 2 is plus 2i, and negative i times i is negative i squared. Now we can simplify. Um, we've got plus ix minus ix, so those cancel. Negative 2i and plus 2i, those cancel. And then we can combine some like terms. We've got minus 2x and minus 2x, that's minus 4x. And then minus, or plus 4, and this minus i squared, i squared is negative 1, so minus i squared is plus 1. So we have plus 4 plus 1, which is plus 5. So this tells us that x squared minus 4x plus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. To find the remaining factor, we can take uh, our polynomial and do a long division. So we've got x to the fourth uh, minus 23x squared plus 68x minus 60. Notice that I left a space because there's no x cubed term. And we divide by the x squared minus 4x plus 5. So to do this division, we take our x to the fourth and we divide it by x squared. That leaves us with x squared. That's what goes on top. And we take that and multiply by this, this divisor. So we get x to the fourth uh, minus 4x cubed and then plus 5x squared. And we subtract. The x to the fourth cancels. I've got nothing here and then minus a negative is plus 4x cubed. Negative 23x squared minus 5x squared is minus 28x squared. And then the 68x and the six minus 60 come down. Okay, now we take 4x cubed and divide that by the first term here, x squared. And that gives us 4x. So we have plus 4x up here. We multiply that by our divisor. That gives us 4x uh, cubed minus 16x squared plus 20x, and we subtract. The 4x cubed cancels. Negative 28x squared uh, plus 16x squared is negative 12x squared. 68x minus 28x is 48x, and then the minus 60 comes down. And now uh, we take our negative 12x squared, and we divide by the x squared to get negative 12. That's what goes up here. Multiplying that by our divisor, negative 12 times x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 12 times negative 4x is plus 48x. And negative 12 times 5 is negative 60. And we subtract, and we see that these are all the same, so we get 0 which is what we expect, since we knew that x squared minus 4x plus 5 was a factor of this polynomial. So now we have our factored form, okay? We do want it as a product of, uh, of linear factors, and so we're gonna actually leave it as the x minus the two, x minus two minus i and x minus two plus i. But then we've got this quotient here that, that we ended up with x squared plus 4x minus 12. And we'd like to be able to factor that. And that's actually pretty straightforward uh, to factor. So we need two numbers that multiply to be a negative 12 and add to be 4. And that is a, a positive 6 and a negative 2. So this is our uh, factored form using linear factors.